George Bedditz was born in 1861 in Baltimore, Maryland. Bedditz was born hearing, but lost his hearing at the age of eight due to scarlet fever. After the age of eight, he began attending Maryland School of the Deaf. From there, he went on to attend Gallaudet University, where he studied to be a teacher and graduated in 1884. Post-graduation, Bedditz began his teaching career at his alma mater, Maryland School for the Deaf, for one year. From there, he continued his career at Colorado School of the Deaf, and he stayed there for 17 years. Bedditz was elected as president for the National Association for the Deaf in 1904. He was then re-elected for a second term in 1907. At that time, the NAD's greatest issue was the preservation of sign language. The NAD felt that sign language was being threatened by oralist ideas in schools, so that it gathered and collected $5,000 to finance the recordings of the videos. With the money collected, the NAD produced a series of lectures signed by master signers which later became known as Gallaudet Lectures. The recordings of the NAD are the first registry of sign languages done in the world. In the video, Bedditz discusses the right of deaf people to use sign language, the beauty of sign language, and also its value to humanity. Although Bedditz died in March of 1937, his legacy lives on. The Library of Congress announced on December 28, 2011, that they had named the films The Preservation of Sign Language. Robert Whitebrecht was born deaf in 1920 in California. Growing up, Whitebrecht went to a mainstream school and had difficulty learning to talk. Because of this, he was teased. Whitebrecht could lip read and knew very little sign language growing up. Whitebrecht graduated from University of Berkeley in 1942 with a bachelor's degree in astronomy. He then went to the University of Chicago in 1957 and graduated from there with a master's degree in astronomy. While at the University of Chicago, Whitebrecht worked at the radiation lab as a physicist. Then, he worked as an electronics scientist at the United States Naval Air Missile Test Center. He also worked on the Manhattan Project. Whitebrecht worked on several different projects, including creating safety equipment to help rescue people. His main interest was in communicating through the radio, and in 1948, he began working to create the first worldwide radio communication. In 1950, he got a radio typewriter, which was only capable of receiving messages, and did not include the use of a phone. He modified the radio typewriter so it could also send messages.
After people asked him to fix the radio typewriter so that it could be used on the regular phone line, Whitebrecht finally succeeded with the invention of the teletypewriter, better known as the TTY, in 1964.